Hey everybody, this is Greg with Medical Muscle. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about Anki, my favorite tool for medical school. But what's cool about Anki is that any, probably most um, schools, you know, nursing, uh, pharmacology, veterinary school, um, if you're learning a language, uh, it can be used for basically any of these topics. You can use it somehow. Uh, it's great if you need to learn, um, if you need to memorize a bunch of facts. So if you have a bunch of facts and drugs, you know, far, like anything with farm, uh, it's great for that because you can memorize like adverse effects, all that stuff. For languages, obviously, you have a lot of words that you need to, to memorize. Like say if you're learning German or French or Mandarin, um, you can plug these in and it's just basically a flashcard, but it's a more efficient flashcard that can give you the option to see something that you're struggling with more frequently and something that you're strong at less frequently. So it changes depending on that. And it can tailor your studies a little bit. Um, there's, it's kind of cool, it tracks your progress. It can tell you uh, how you're doing, if you're going through your cards efficiently, if you're behind. So you can kind of compete with yourself. Um, it has a lot of, so like when you're making cards, you can make a standard flash card where you type out a sentence and on the other side, you're gonna have the phrase or whatever you need to memorize um, the answer. But you can also type something out and then block out certain words in that phrase and try to memorize it that way. You can also um, add images to it, which is beautiful. Um, you know, just put an image up, what is this? Uh, you can also make it into multiple choice, obviously. And one of the coolest features is image occlusion. So this is, these are all, what I'm saying is are all add-ons. You can download these for free. Um, image occlusion, you, you take a screenshot of say a lecture slide and you can go through and block out little sections of that lecture slide and make each of those a card. It's really cool. Okay, so I, yeah, I said who could benefit this. Anybody who's gotta memorize a bunch of topics. Um, I think if the topics are relatively simple to understand and there's a high volume, which medical school and a lot of other, these kind of schools that I talked about have, it's a lot of information, a lot of little bits of information, it's fantastic. What Anki is not great at is more complex topics, okay? Something that, like, um, like pathways or anything like that. Um, so what do I mean? Like biochemistry, where you have this long pathway that you have to memorize. You could use Anki in those kind of situations, but it's hard. Um, math, maybe not the best uh, for this topic, or this, this application doesn't quite work for that. Um, a lot of those things like math or anything with like a lot of um, equations, you really have to do that through practicing through equations. Um, you can't just do it through a flashcard. Um, but for the bulk of most schools, yes, you can use this. Um, I love this tool. Uh, it adapts to what you need it to do. And what I mean is you can change how frequently you're going to see the card. So you can change the settings to, I want to see the card. Say if you, the card was very hard. You could see it in one minute. You could see it in five minutes. Um, you can see it in one day, two days. You can change all these settings. So how frequently you're going to see this. Okay. And then if you struggled with it, then you'll see it in in less days, and if you did well, then you can choose to see it in, in more days. So it's kind of like uh, uh, kind of an option. You kind of go by how hard you felt the, the card was, and then it changes to that. Um, really cool, it keeps everything organized. You can make little folders and like have, you can break it down into um, each exam. You can break it down in a lecture. You can break it down however you want. You can have a deck of Anki cards that are for an entire exam, that's what I always did because our exam had everything. Uh, you can break it down just for that lecture. You can memorize that lecture really well. So it's really cool. I hope you guys can use it. Um, now say you don't like making cards. You don't, you don't wanna learn how to make them. They're not, it's not very complicated, but they can, there's a little learning curve. Um, there are downloadable decks that other people have made. Um, I'm in medical school and I'm using a pre-made deck now and it's fantastic. But the downside is um, you're going off of what someone else had made. Um, but this goes, this is true for like something like Quizlet. I know a lot of people use that. Uh, it's similar, um, but I think Anki is superior because it's got some other add-ons that you can 
you can make really cool things. Um, one more thing, especially with like languages, like if you're learning a foreign language or whatever, um, you can record your voice in the um, in the app, and you can you can have the response to be an audio uh, instead of like a text. Really nice. Okay, so basically that's my rant on Anki. Uh, I think whatever school you're in, whatever level of education, high school through medical school, it can really be used for any of it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys do well on whatever test you're gonna take. And yeah, kick some 